Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over how to use the facility reservation form available on the St. Cecilia website. Hopefully this video will address any questions or concerns you have surrounding the new process on how to book your uh, event request. Let's go ahead and begin by filling out our information for our event. This information here is in regards to how to contact you should there be any changes or any last minute requests that we may have a question about. Go ahead and fill out your event description. This is more for us, uh, just gives us an idea what's going on, on in your event. In regards to offsite or virtual in this portion here, this is in relation to an event that is being hosted, say, at the food bank or not on our grounds uh, if you're choosing the offsite option. Um, in this space here, you can provide the address of the location where your uh, event will be hosted. This is great because uh, folks can see it on our calendar if they choose to uh, join you on this uh, excursion offsite. Um, they can check it out and get uh, an address uh, where to uh, meet you. Uh, for the virtual option, as we are mostly familiar with, uh, being away from the campus, uh, you can provide your link for the um, event that is being hosted virtually. For this purpose, we are using the neither option, and we are going to select the start date of our event and the start time. The window for operation right now um, is 8 to 9.30. So please try to book your event within uh, those bounds. If your event does reoccur, uh, you have some options here. You can choose daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. I highly suggest the custom option if your event does occur more than once during the year. And my event starts on the 20th. So as I selected here on the 20th, it is already selected here, the initial starting date. All I have to do is just add the remainder of the dates that I'd like my event to occur. And if I don't like or agree with one of those dates, I can simply exit out. Now we will select the location, the bulk of the location, which is uh, in relation to maybe the auditorium the Bishop Rosado Building Community Center, or the St. Cecilia Courtyard, or in the St. Cecilia Catholic School. This event does impact the auditorium, and I do want this notice to be public, so I will include a brief note here on what is uh, going on in this space here for the public to know. If you have a link uh, for more information uh, in regards to your event, you can include that here. Next, you will select a category that corresponds with your event or in association with your ministry or uh, the touch point that is uh, associated with your event. For this, uh, we have four people, which in our crew, we currently have four people that will carry out this task. In this section here, you can set out uh, you can upload a setup uh, for your event. It can be a scratch piece of paper with a drawn image of what you want your layout to look like. Uh, we do accept JPEG, PDF, IMG formats, and a few more if you'd like to include that here. We do have a few guidelines below that you need to acknowledge before using our spaces. Um, we would like folks to exit the facility no later than 9.30 at this time just to keep folks safe and make sure that we can uh, go in there and clean if we need to afterwards. Please turn off all the lights in your spaces. Um, we'd like folks to be stewards of their spaces, so if you could, please make sure that your space, uh, the lights are off.
If your event is needing to be canceled for whatever reason, make sure that you let us know within 24 hours. That way we can uh, notify folks um, when the event shows as canceled on the calendar. Uh, at this time, we do not allow large snacks, uh, I'm sorry, large uh, meals or banquets in the upstairs of the community center. We do allow lidded beverages, bottled water, and small snacks um, uh, just to alleviate any large cleanups at this time. Please make sure that your space is found as uh, or left as you found it. Um, this really helps us out in getting the space prepared for the next ministry or event. If you do have trash can or anything with an odor, make sure you take it out and bring it down to the kitchen and the designated trash cans. If you are using the community center, there is a lockbox located outside of the north room doors. Uh, you can open up your space and the uh, get access to the building. Once you have completed that, make sure you return your key uh, immediately after. In case another group is coming in and needs to access another space, they can get easily or good access to that key in the lockbox. Um, if you're using uh, any other space on the campus, such as auditorium, Bishop Rosado building, or community center, uh, make sure to pick up your key at the pastoral office during the uh, regular business hours, which is 9 to 5. And um, if you are um, using any of the spaces on campus, please make sure that you are exiting those at 9.30 p.m. as well. There is a night drop available for keys. Uh, you can drop off your keys there as well after your event. Finally, if you do not comply with these rules, just uh, we're not going to be huge sticklers about it, but uh, we would like folks to be stewards of their spaces in this parish and um, just make sure to uh, abide by these rules. Um, there are three strikes or warnings um, for failure to comply, but Again, we understand things happen, accidents happen, and um, just just try your best, and uh, we will um, try to help you as much as we can. So go ahead and provide your verification, and we will move on to the next page. While this page loads, finally, um, we are moving on to the next page. Uh, here's a summary of the last page so that you have an idea of what you selected. I'm now going to select the spaces that um, are in conjunction with my, um, my selection in the past page. If there is a conflict, um, there is a uh, mass here, so not a big deal. Um, I need to go back and simply select another time. And to do that, you just go back and you select another time. That is more appropriate for this event to occur. And now I have selected a smaller quantity of dates. Um, and now I am getting check marks, meaning that my space is available. Um, I can select uh, resources such as seminar tables if I'm having those uh, for my event, and you can select up to 25. Um, simply type in the amount, hit save, and it'll uh, slide this little uh, bar here and if you need a projector there is not a projector or screen available there um, if you need chairs simply uh, follow the same procedure here you can select up to 402 chairs in the auditorium we do have microphones available if you need them and we do have one on hand right now if you need more let us know because I'm not using these I will not I will deselect these options and once you have what you need you can go ahead and submit your event.
and that is all you need to do. All you will need to do at this time is simply wait for the approval of the event, check that the calendar shows your event as you listed it, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. My email is ayala at saintcecilia.org, and thank you for joining us. Have a great day.